everybody. Thanks for tuning back in to Gibby Bed Outdoors. I really appreciate it. We are trying a new creek tonight. We're going to head over to Beaver Creek near Hagerstown, Maryland. It is a spring fed creek, so it is cold all year round and it should be in the upper 50s to low 60s, even with the summertime heat that we've been dealing with. And boy, has it been a hot one this summer. It's been really, really bad. Um, you know, 90 plus degrees several days in a row. All the local creeks are running really low and, uh, you know, I'm laying off those fish. I tend to not hit trout unless it's below 70 degrees max. So we're going to give Beaver Creek a try and try to deal with all the vegetation, etc. that I've heard about. But I know there's some nice browns in here and there's a lot of wild fish as well. So we'll give it a try and see what we can find out. Thanks for tuning back in and we'll try to catch them up. All right, checking in uh, at about 62 degrees it looks like. And uh, that's on the shore here, so maybe a little cooler out in the center. So that's that's plenty of chilly. Good deal. So here's my setup today. I've got my moonshine rods, Epiphany 10 foot six three weight, as usual for my Euro nymphing and mono rig, and um, got the Lamson Guru S. Love that color, man. That is awesome. Um, and then we've got the mop fly on the bottom here of the tandem on the point and then about about 16 inches up we've got a tag fly there with the tungsten surveyor and then i am putting a thing of a bobber in line as well and then above that about another two feet is my inline slider so i'm going to try to keep that inline slider off the water and uh just kind of drifted along with the thing of a bobber being the point of contact at this point to try to minimize missing strikes um, and then I can pop that off if I want to. If there's other spots I want to hit where there's more of a fast moving current, etc. I'll probably take that thing of a bobber off and roll it through like usual. So we'll see if this works out. Um, may not, who knows? Experimentation definitely on a new creek for sure. But that's a get up. My, my experience so far with these fish is that they're hiding out under rocks and under this, uh, you know, duckweed and all that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping, hoping there'll be a couple fish under here. Got a big one. Oh man, that's a nice fish. Oh boy, don't you come off, buddy. Oh no. Jeez, oh, that's a nice trout. Holy cow, guys. Oh man. Barbless hook. Oh boy. Woohoo. Oh wow. Wow, what a fish. What a fish. Oh gosh. Come here, buddy. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Wow. All right. Sweet! What a fish! Wow! Holy smokes, guys! Whoa! Nice! Yeah! Beautiful fish! Beautiful, beautiful fish! My goodness! Tar marks and everything! Wow! All right, what a fish, guys. Man, this is a beautiful brown. Wild fish, par marks, white fin tips there. Oh my gosh, what a fish. And you hit the mop fly. Wow, gorgeous. Gorgeous trout, my gosh. All right, so I wandered upstream just a little bit further from the bridge and I found a nice little riffle right here. Kind of runs down through with a little bit of more speed, a little bit of gradient, which is something I've been looking for and not really existed on this creek very much, but that's okay. I'm learning how to deal with it. Um, so my thought would be kind of work the current right in along there. There's a little seam right there kind of pushes against the far bank and um, hopefully there'll be some fish holding over there. So I'm going to try that area. Up close it's pretty mucky looking so I don't know that much is going to be doing up here. Um, but I have to tread lightly, don't want to scare anything either. So we're going to put one in there see what's up. Oh, oh just had one. Oh man. Huh. Oh 
Well, that was a bummer. That's been the name of the game today. I really missed my hook sets, which is not good. But I had probably triple the fish to net. Oh, there's one. There's one. All right, we got one. Nice. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Dang. Oh well. Pretty fish, wow. That's a beautiful fish, man. Very cool. Let me spit the hook. That's all. Barbless to the rescue. So this looks interesting. There's a couple access points. I decided to hop down the bank and get in the lower part here so I don't spook any fish and just kind of work my way up and hopefully that's the right choice. There is a little access off to the right there. You can see a little rock sticking out. Um, but that looks like it's at least halfway up in there. So I'm going to try this first then I may hop up there. Definitely don't want to make a lot of splashing but this looks like a good spot for sure. All right, I can actually see a fish holding right there in the calm part. It's like a big rainbow. Hmm. I want to spook him. This is going to be tough. There he is. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, man. Ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, man. That's a nice rainbow, I think. Oh, don't you get stuck in that muck. Oh, crap. Oh, oh. Ah. oh he's, he's out. He's out. All right. Oh, man. That's a nice fish. Oh, man. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Ooh, might be a brown. I think I was wrong. Man. Trying to bring him around. Oh, I got trees above me. Bushes to the right of me. Stuck in the middle with you. Oh, that's a nice fish. I don't want to lose this fish. Oh, man. Ooh, got him. All right, got him. Wow, it's a beauty. Holy cow, guys. That is a beautiful brown. Wow. That is pristine wild brown trout right there. Looks like his gill plate got dinged up a little. Wow. Shoo wee Wow. Beautiful. Man. Upper lipped him. There it is. All right, hooked up with some plant life. <laughs> and uh, this is kind of an idea of what's going on in here. Um, looks like Elodea to me, if I'm, my biology uh, is returning to me correctly on the uh, plant life species here. But there's this, there's watercress. There's duckweed, a ton of duckweed, so lots of different stuff going on, and I'm sure lots of other species of things. Um, so lots of stuff to get caught on, in other words. And I can see several areas where um, stuff breaks loose and just kind of drifts down and looks like a chia pet floating downstream. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So, so that's the stuff there. just wanted to show you guys that. It's pretty interesting and pretty uh, easy to tangle up in, too. So.
Oh, ah, ah. Shoot, I had another one, little guy. Dang. I'm casting upstream and you know, letting all my line out, and then I'm gradually raising my rod and peeling line in a little bit to try to keep the tight line set up. That's what's going on. And you can see me lifting the rod now, trying to compensate. Nope. Trying not to splash too much, but it's hard. There's one. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Buddy. Oh, man. That's another nice one. Wow. Jeez, stay down. Stay down. Watch out for these damn trees. Ah. Okay. Nice brown. Sweet. Look at that fish, guys. Man. That's a beautiful, beautiful wild brown. My goodness. Gee whiz. They do color them up well here. Nice work, Spring Fed Creek. Wow. Is he out? Okay. And he wants out, too. Man. <laughs> Not yet, boss. Not yet. All right, guys, this is a beautiful trout. I cannot believe the colors on this dude. He is fantastic. Man, buttered up, par marks, adipose, red tip, you name it, he's got it, man. I'm trying to show you that tip. There we go, nice. There's one. Oh yeah, another nice one. Ooh, that's a frisky little brown. Oh yeah, nice. Awesome, awesome. Ooh, back up here. I don't want to scare the rest of them. Oh, there he goes. Stay down, buddy, stay down. I'll try to plop him in. There we go, success. Pays off, just find the right place to go, right? Jeez. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Yep. Nice. Beautiful fish, man. Wow. Alright, this is another pristine wild brown here on Beaver Creek. What a beautiful fish. Man. He is fantastic. Par marks on this fish are outstanding. Look at this. Man, that's great. What a pretty fish.
Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, man. Got one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. He's fighting hard. Nice. How am I going to get him in? Holy cow. Uh, trees above me. Beside me. Everywhere, man. Oh, jeez. Bring the rod in small. Uh, make it a five-foot rod. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's a nice fish. Come here, son. Oh, there he goes. Dang it. And I'm in the tree. Son of a gun. Alrighty, that is going to be it. I am going to fish just a little bit longer upstream, or rather downstream, till it gets dark. Um, but I'm going to sign off now, just in case I don't get anything else. Um, it has been a wonderful experience. Several fish to net. Missed twice, if not three times as many, unfortunately. Bad hook sets, um, lots of overhanging trees, rod hitting the trees, rod hitting the bushes, excuses, I know, but you know, challenging stuff for sure. Um, definitely have to get better at that on this particular creek, but it has been a blast. I really enjoyed my first spring creek experience. It's so nice to have a place to go in the middle of summer where there's actually wild trout that you can catch. The selections are limited in central Maryland where I am, so. Um, have to really think outside the box and try to drive a little further and uh, you know don't really have time to go up into PA as much as I would like um, love to get up there but that's you know some of those big creeks they're a good hour and a half plus drive um, I just don't have the time to commit to that maybe someday um, but this is great I will definitely be back here for sure um, Mega Brown was definitely there and I uh, saw him swipe so they're in there <laughs> Love it. So thanks for tuning in guys. Hope you learned something maybe. Um, try to do a little more tutorial stuff this time. Not that I know like what I'm talking about. I'm not a pro by any means, but certainly um, you know, trying to share what works for me certainly and uh, hopefully maybe some of you can pick up on some of these tips, especially with the you know the Euro nymphing tight lining uh, mono rig particularly. That's been a really fun thing to learn. It's been about a year since I've been doing that. So definitely uh, learning the versatility of it. Uh, tonight with the indicator fishing mainly, um, but not changing any line out or anything else. Left the cider in, just put the thingamabobber down a lower on the uh, 4X and then had the double nymph rig below that and uh, worked out great. Um, dry dropper as well, you know, got the, um, the hopper on there on the tag and then at the point fly we had the mop. Um, it was a little too heavy of a setup there. I had to downsize a little bit, but you know, a little bit of everything and uh, didn't have to swap out a lot of stuff, which is really awesome. Definitely learning the versatility is a lot of fun with that. So thanks again for checking in again, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. And uh, we'll see you back out here. We'll definitely be back here again. No doubt about it. All right. Thanks for watching again, and we'll try to catch them up next time. See ya. Fish on. That's a trout. All right, that's a trout. Wild brownie. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Beautiful, beautiful little guy. Wow. All right, we got a good one here. Oh man, stay on, stay on. Oh boy. I gotta get into the muck here, oh man. Man, that's a nice brown. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, come back here, come back here. Come on, come on, come on. Gosh, got him, yes. Woo! What a fish, man! Yay! Hot dog, man! All right. Woo! -hoo. Beautiful, beautiful fish.
another one on. Ooh. Oh man, this is tough going in here. Ooh. Jeez. Beautiful, beautiful. Another wild guy. That's awesome. Sweet.